पानी नहीं है अगर पानी नहीं आएगा तो इंसान पिएगा क्या काम कहा से भटक भटक के पानी लाए हम लोग तो आप भी नहीं पानी मिलेगा हमें कितनी साफ सफाई करी चार घंटे से पच रहे हम लोग तो हमको पानी हो ना बाल बच्चे क्या करेंगे हम The city of Indore, to start with, had water supply from dug wells and tanks. Then, as the city grew, two reservoirs were made: one on the Gambhi River and the other on the Saraswati River. And water was pumped from these reservoirs to supply to the Indore city. Then, by 1970, even this was not sufficient, as the city grew and the demand for water increased. they had to go for another alternative so they chose to get water from the narmada river which is 50 kilometers away from indore city and 500 meters below in the nimar valley this was a costly proposition but there was no alternative at that time so this was adopted then by 1990 this was also insufficient so they went for a second stage of this same narmada uh, lifting uh, uh, project and after that by 2000 this also became insufficient so they the indore municipal corporation they planned for a third stage however at this stage the third stage which required an investment around 400 to 500 crores the indore municipal corporation did not have this money so they applied to the asian development bank for a loan now in 2013 the repayment of the adb loan and the capital has started and that is a huge burden of another additional burden of another 48 crores and in the meantime the uh, the, the price of electricity per unit that also has increased so now the the burden which was 110 crores in 2011 that must have gone up to at least around 100 180 crores or so the alternative is that you have water that is supplied to the city in a city which has sewerage system you normally supply at uh, for 135 liters per capita per day of that 135 per liters per capita per day uh, 65 liters uh, is for flushing toilets and for gardening and the other 60 liters or so that is for personal usation what happens is that this uh, 65 liters does not need potable water supply so the potable su water supply can be restricted to the 70 liters for washing and bathing and drinking and this 65 liters that can easily be used from the recycling of the other 70 liters that are supplied for potable that becomes a waste water after that and creates another problem so instead of Uh, making it waste water it can be treated and reused uh, uh, in this way so that reduces the load that alternative is there apart from that there are alternatives of recharging artificial recharging that can be done and rain water harvest so if we have a system in which the uh, colonies or the individual households which are capable of doing so or institutions uh, like from the corporate sector or the government they take care of their water needs by recharging and the central ground water board has made a plan for the uh, indore district where it has identified the fractures that are there in the uh, uh, basaltic underlayer where water can be recharged so all the uh, extra water the house household or colony water that will be recharged in the colony or household itself but from the roads the other areas the water that is there that the indore municipal corporation can collect and direct to these fractures and recharge into the ground so that will raise the water table the, the total precipitation that is taking place in indore is many times more at least 10 to 15 times more than the present water demand so if that precipitation is totally used recharge then we can uh, have water here from ground water and water harvesting and waste water treatment from the indoor itself and we do not have to go to narmada to get and the, this whole narmada project which is so costly and unsustainable can be retired